Hello, I'm Executive Chef Joseph Schotze. Welcome to our kitchen. Today I'd like to share with you my recipe and technique for a salt baked fish. The fish that we will be baking today, encrusted in this salt tomb, will be the lovely striped bass. So join me now as I show you how I prepare this meal. First thing, we will use a whole fish. Head should be on. It should already be eviscerated, scaled, and ready to go. Uh, first thing, remove the fins. So what I like to do is with kitchen shears, is just cut them off. Now we have the fins taken off, we have the tail. This is completely optional. You could keep it on or remove it. I like to remove it. All of the fins and the tail is removed. Now we want to stuff it. I like to stuff it for obvious reasons of giving flavor and aromatic, but it also helps maintain the shape of the fish so it doesn't get very flat. Feel free to use anything that you like. For this recipe, some of my favorites are, I will use a couple bay leaves, mixed peppercorns. I will also put in leek. We'll use some fennel, lemon, in there and then some parsley and there you have our fish now that it's stuffed let's let it set off to the side and go on to making our salt mixture to make our salt mixture for this this size fish the fish is approximately three pounds I like to use four cups of salt and eight egg whites. A good rule of thumb is two egg whites per cup of salt. Now let's mix it. And we are ready to season our fish. Well, now our fish is stuffed and our salt mixture is complete. Selecting the vessel to bake it in is important. Uh, if it's a small enough fish, you can use a Dutch oven, you could use a saute pan, but I don't have uh, one big enough for this fish, so I'm going to use a sheet pan. It's perfectly fine. Let's begin with spreading out some of the salt mixture, about a quarter inch or so on the parchment. We'll go ahead and take our fish, lay it right on top of it. And now, begin putting your salt completely around the fish. Now, some people ask, why salt bake uh, a fish? What are the advantages of it? The advantages are, one, this is going to lock in a lot of flavors and juices and enable the fish to carry more of its natural flavors. The, it's almost very similar to sous vide in the sense that you're cooking the food in its juice. Now that we have our fish encrusted, we are going to set it to a preheated oven, 425 degrees for about 40 minutes. At the halfway point, I like to turn it. Well, here we are with our little salt tomb. 
already baked up nice and hard so what you want to do is take your knife and around the edge where the fish is go ahead and make some nice cutting cuts you may have to tap with your hand a little bit Okay, now that we have it all out, this will typically can come out in one piece. Be careful of the steam. And using a fork, we could peel back the skin. And I have to go a little bit further on the cutting. The aromatics, the leek, the lemon, the fennel is so good. Oh, wow. So now what we will do is we will peel our fish back from the bone. Some bones will come up with it just to be careful. The good thing with this type of fish is the bones are really large, so they are easy to locate. Now we got the top side out. What we'll do, let's remove some of the filling. And we will then take our knife, cut through the backbone, right there at the head, which is, should came out really easy. Peel your bone back. and then begin pulling the fish up again. When I do fish tacos, I love doing the salt baked fish. It just adds so much more flavor and uh, you see how juicy. That's the advantage with being inside the salt encasement it allows all those juices to stay in there nothing gets lost and not to mention the aromatic well there you have my salt baked striped bass the flavor and the smell is fantastic it is very moist and the benefits to doing salt baked fish is that the protein uh, is cooking in its own juice is therefore going to render a lot more flavor and it's going to maintain moisture and not dry out on you. The only drawback is that taking the filet out in one whole piece is not going to happen and you have to deal with bones. But the, the end result, the flavor and the moisture far outweighs, you know, dealing with the bones, let me tell you. Feel free to use any filling that you like. I chose this because I'm looking to go a little more Mediterranean. If I were to make fish tacos, I would most likely put coriander, cilantro, jalapeno, things like that in there to, uh, you know, help enhance the flavors more towards the direction or the ethnicity of the food that I'm about to eat. Well, thank you very much for joining me. I hope I answered some questions that you may have had regarding salt baked fish. Thank you for joining us. Enjoy it.